Hey YouTube, it's Cab Over Gary back. I'm kind of sneaking on. I couldn't get a hold of anybody to get permission, but I hear it's going to auction. Let me switch around. So this bulldozer is going to auction, and it's probably unfortunately going to go to scrap because there's not many people that can use a 16-cylinder wheeled bulldozer that weighs 200,000 pounds, is what I'm told. So uh, let's take a look at it before it gets cut up. Hopefully I don't get in trouble. I kind of know the guy that owns it. I know him through a friend. So I don't think he'll, he wouldn't care if I could get a hold of him. I just couldn't get a hold of him. So it's pretty neat though. I wish there was a purpose for it. So this, the story goes that this was in a coal mine and uh, it was brought down here to West Texas to push silage in the mounds, but it ended up being too heavy and they couldn't get it to work right for that. And also it uh, has a 16, I think it's a 16 V92. We'll check it out when we get up there. But you can see how big it is by the cab that's just kind of poached up there. I'm going to set the tripod up. So you guys can see me in front of the blade. Now I'm 6'2". And... This blade is... So I'm 6'2", and that blade's a good foot taller than me. So... That kind of gives you an idea of the size of it. So it's a Clark, Michigan 380 wheeled bulldozer. Damn, this thing's neat. Let me back it out a little bit more. Let's go check out the motor on it. Man, look at the size of that planetary. Sorry, it's a little shaky. I'm just trying to do this quickly to get it, but yeah. So there's one, two, three, four per deal. So probably a 1671. You Detroit guys could probably tell me for sure but how cool is this thing? I mean, look at this platform up here. You got... There's the operating cab. And that would be your view. Pushing. I mean, it's massive. It looks like that blade might have been added on to do the silage. I I sure hope that somebody buys this to reuse it. The fact of the matter is, oh, that's probably not good. Most of it's probably got, well, it's West Texas, so there ain't much water. We can get back down and we'll walk around the other side. It's pretty crazy when you have a staircase going up to your operating cab like this. Look at that fan, that fan's like five feet tall. Yeah, that's solid. It's a two inch plate frame. Really crazy. Let me see if this is a data plate. Let's see. I'm pretty sure it's a 71. Maybe the old two-stroker channel guy can tell me. Wayne, he's a pretty cool guy. I like his videos. Look at that differential. 
That thing is massive. Air brakes. Look at those brakes. Wow. <laughs> those brakes are huge. I guess you would need it to stop this much weight. I mean, this is a good... To there is a good... Probably 10, 12 feet. I bet you this thing sounds awesome running. It was running not too long ago. I think five years ago they were using it. So it's 37 and a half by 33 R33s. Those the tires it takes. Man, that's a climb. <laughs> Huge cylinder. That one's been repaired too. Man, that's solid metal, I think. That wing. That wing is six inches thick. You can start seeing how it's 200,000 pounds, is what they're saying. If I remember right, they said that it cost $40,000 to ship it. I bet you it burns a little bit of fuel. But I wish I could start it up for you. I, there was a video of it not too long ago of it running when they bought it. It was bought at a Ritchie Brothers auction, I think. I'll see if I can find some of that footage to put in the end. But yeah, I just wanted to show you. There's my truck. I just parked uh, in their drive and came out to film. But, uh, yeah, let me guys, let, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys want information, I'll try to find, uh, auction information on this. Uh, see what we could do. But, she's a beast. Someone save her. She's worth too much of scrap, though, unfortunately. Well, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. I'm going to try to do a series of these. I know where there's a lot of weird stuff. So uh, I'll do a series of them. And for you guys don't know what a silage mound is, I'll take some pictures of them out here. And I'll take pictures of what they use to do them out here too. So I'll catch you guys next time. Please don't forget to like and comment on the video. This is silage piles. So what they do is they cut the grass and hay, they pile it up, and then they uh, compact it with what they use is four-wheel drive articulating tractors uh, with plows on them. I'll put a picture of one in here. And then uh, they cover it with that tarp stuff and put the tires on it. And because it makes it a high protein, I'm sure people out there that know a whole lot more about it than me. Uh, but my understanding is high protein, 